Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing like a school type video. Um, I don't know, we're here, so let's just dive in. So a lot of my stuff is color coded because I had a ninth grade teacher who made us write notes in three different colors at least. And if we didn't, he would take points off of our notes. And I never really understood why. Um, he was like, you're gonna need it, this class is a little bit harder, and it's scientifically proven, colors help separate ideas, whatever. And I was like, okay, cool. And it does, and it's what I've been doing ever since. So everything I have is color coded. So yeah. So, I guess I'll start with my pens. These are the Bic Gelosity pens. I love these. I love the way they write. They're in 0.7. And I separate these when I write hand notes. So pink is always definitions, no matter what subject. Purple is always an header. Blue lately is um, like underlying words that were explained in the text but aren't considered definitions. And then these are whatever I want them to be. These are a little bit lighter when writing, so they don't really stick in my brain as much as these do, because these are a little bit more vibrant. There's also a black that comes with it, but I used it a lot. <laughs> so with those, of course, I have matching highlighters. I had, I think, two more. I did have an orange. Don't know if I just stopped working. So same way, when reading text, pink, 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 pink is definitions. Blue is other definitions. And I rarely use this one, but see, like, it barely has been used. But it's there. These are a little dark. This one and the blue one's a little dark. So, It's a little harder to use these because then I can't read <laughs> what I highlight. See, this doesn't even look like. Oh, there it is. This one's a little bit easier because it's a little, bit, a little bit lighter. You can see I've been using it a lot. So I'm actually not a fan of the color pink, but if it works and I it helps me study. It works. And these are Sharpie highlighters. The smear guard ones. I love Sharpie everything. <laughs> so those help a lot. And then I have different colored index cards. That even sounds good. It doesn't even sound like it's doing what it wants to do. As soon as it gets to the pink, it just stops being chill. But anyway, I use these for practically anything. I would use these. Really, the only time I've used them is for my entrepreneurship class. Just to separate ideas. And that's basically what you use them for, is to separate ideas. And it also makes it easier when doing speeches because then this can be like your introduction. All your ideas for your introduction. And then 
and you would have your body, which this one, let's just say there's two. So body one, ideas. two ideas, which I use the backs of them because I don't like the lines. <laughs> and then your conclusion. These do help separate ideas in your brain. It does help in color coat things, but it, oh, sorry, that was on. It doesn't work for everyone. Or, you know, I don't think anyone really wants to go through all the trouble of doing this, but I have to be organized. Oh, too much. Like, I'm in speech class right now, so I'd probably use these either for different speeches entirely or for different ideas within the speech. They're great for writing papers. And just note taking, if you have a math test that does several different sections, these are perfect. Or these are perfect to separate those sections. And it helps a lot because I know personally, pink is definition, purple is header. Every time I see this, it doesn't matter if I looked at the word or not, the color, I recognize it in my brain. These are always different for me. So having these colors, doesn't confuse me. This one might. It just is what it is. But I also have white index cards. That is. And it is lineless because I hate lines. I hate lines so much. And these also work too. You don't have to use colored. But these also work too, especially you write them in different colors. This works as well. It's a little harder on these, which is why you need a black pen, I guess. But since most of mine is visual, these work better. And then because I'm a nerd, I have stuff like my own stapler. I don't even know if you can hear that. I don't know how loud this stuff is. That was loud though. I apologize. Okay, we're good. I opened that so this one needs to come out. But I have my own stapler. I used to carry it with me in my backpack. And I have my own hole puncher. Holding it upside down. And the reason there's duct tape on it is because these things kept falling out because I broke this, so it just hangs down. And for my stapler, I do have colored staples. These were given to me, I did not buy these. So these have nothing to do with my colorization. But I think these are blue and then, then pink or fuchsia and green. I have not used them yet. I don't know what I would use them for, really. Because I feel like that would just throw me all off. And I do have this giant thing of staples. But as you can see, the box is going to be just a little bit. 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 A little bit. A little bit. Okay. This is a 5,000 count. That's ridiculous. And then, of 
course, if you have a hole puncher, you need, or um, a stapler, you need whatever this is called. Yes, there's a hairband around it so it could stay somewhat closed. Hairband's not really working here, huh? But. This is a staple remover. I guess that's what it's called, right? And then I have paper clips. These are recycled paper clips by Pen Gear. I really don't know how all of this sounds, so if you guys don't like it, I'm so sorry. And then, I was given this. I don't really use it, because it doesn't stick well. But it's a sticky note memo set. There was a time I did use this. As you can tell, there's a sticky thingy missing. I do use these. I do use these, not often, because like I said, the sticky on them sucks. But these are helpful when you have a book. And then these, I don't know where the other one is, I think my boyfriend took it somewhere. This never made it back to the box. Has teacups on it. These have a teacup and a bird and a teacup and a bird. And this just has whatever on it. They're great until you try to stick them on something. <laughs> it's cute, I guess. for school is this box of pencils. I really wanted these because I like these so much better. They twist top and the erasers are so much better than these stupid pencils. If you like them, I'm sorry. I mean, at least they're colorful. These I don't care about color with because they all write the same, but I do have binders and stuff, but I don't really think we need to go there. <laughs> my binders and my folders are also color coded, so I didn't. I don't think I really need to tell you about that. But hopefully, you somewhat liked the video. I hope the noise didn't sound too horrible. And I shall see you next time. Bye.